For more on this beverage battle now, let's bring in Stephen Fee. He is live with us in New York. So, Stephen, who's rejoicing with this ban on banning the Big Gulp? Well, uh, good evening. It's mostly the beverage industry. They're the ones that took the Bloomberg administration to court. Plus, they launched a multi-million dollar battle in the public sphere to oppose this ban. Overall, they argued that the mayor shouldn't be able to make this decision through his board of health. Rather, it should have gone through the city council. And the judge in this case clearly agreed. As your reporter mentioned, uh, the judge said that this was arbitrary and capricious, particularly because there are a lot of loopholes and exceptions to the law. And as you also mentioned, this is a big blow to the Bloomberg administration. They had decided to take on giant sugary sodas, uh, something like this one, uh, as part of a public health effort. And indeed, a 30-ounce soda, this is a large from a fast food restaurant here in New York City, can pack as much as 300 calories of regular cola. Now, as you know, uh, Mayor Bloomberg is term limited out of office. He was hoping this would be part of his legacy. And indeed, more than a fifth of people here in New York City are considered overweight. And nationwide, that number balloons to about a third, according to the Centers for Disease Control. Uh, Stephen, what are New Yorkers saying about this? Do they really want their city officials telling them what size they can or cannot drink? Well, you know, a New York Times poll last year showed around 60% of New Yorkers opposed the ban. But the people we talked to uh, just today around the city said, look, we're kind of resigned to the fact. Indeed, a lot of restaurants and other establishments have already begun to phase it in. It was a little bit actually hard to find uh, this particularly large cup. We picked this up at a fast food establishment uh, just a few blocks away. Uh, but overall, they said, look, you know, this is, this is something that the mayor has tried to enact and it's not going through quite yet. But as you know, Mayor Bloomberg has been through this before. Uh, as you might recall, there was a push to put calorie counts on menus in this city. That was blocked by a court injunction, but the Bloomberg administration was able, able to tweak the rules. And now anytime you go into a fast food establishment in New York City, you get to see just how many calories uh, you're about to consume. All right, Stephen, enjoy your big drink right there. Stephen Fee reporting to us live from the Big Apple uh, this hour. Coming up next, we'll have business.